We're talking about art in advance this month. David Morton is back with us. Hi, David. How's it going, man? Good to be back. It's going well. We're talking about Google Art Discoveries. David, you can sit on your couch and enjoy art from around the world, right? By it, downloading yeah. this Google app, or you can actually go online. So check that out if you haven't done that already. Mm -hmm. David, first, though, I want to talk about, do you actually enjoy going to museums. You can view artwork, of course, from this app, but do you actually like to go in person to a museum? Uh, I love going to museums, actually. Uh, I like going to art museums. I also like going to history museums and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I actually went to this museum in Seattle, Washington. It was like mm -hmm. a electronics museum. Whoa. And it had all this crazy stuff, like radios from like the early 20th century and like telephones from long ago and like computers that used to take up you know, a whole room. They have those yeah. there, and it's really interesting. That's interesting because you also have history there that mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. appeals to me, and there's all kinds of museums. But what do you prefer the most? What kind of museum do you prefer to go to? Uh, it, it really depends on my mood, you know, but I do really like art museums. Mm -hmm. and, and particularly if, I, I particularly enjoy a museum that's set up with like uh, a local artist, mm -hmm. you know? Like I really love the famous stuff, right? Yeah. But I, I also like to see what people are doing now. Yeah. So smaller galleries that are doing like a single exhibition or just a few different local contemporary artists or current artists is something that's really interesting to me as well. What is it that you enjoy about going to art museums? Because obviously that's not for everyone. So why does that resonate with you? For me, it's, I think it's just like I, I like seeing the stories, you know. Mm. I like seeing like well, how do, is this person processing life? They're going through... The, the world, they're going through experiences in their life, they're making art. Mm -hmm. And I'm experiencing something that they have made, right? And so I can connect with that. I can, I especially like if I can talk to the artist and be like, hey, I really like this shade of blue you used here. What were you thinking about when you yeah. chose that? You know, it's just yeah. really, that, that's fun to me. To see the narrative of the art is really fun mm -hmm. for me. Absolutely. Well, what do you think about viewing art from an, from an app? Would you be interested in doing that? Like using something like the Google app? Yeah, and I've been meaning to try it. I haven't tried it yet because I didn't even know it existed until I read the article. Me either. Right? Yeah, but I think it's a it's very cool idea and I think it's a sign of some of the cool things we can do using the internet. It won't, I mean, it doesn't replace going to museums, right. but it's really cool that we can do that. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Absolutely. Well, who is your favorite artist? I think one of my favorite artists is probably Andy Warhol mm. uh, because he sort of took this changing world of, you know, like factories and, you know, like reproducing the same, the same things over and over again. We have factories that have, can, you know, uh, assembly lines that can make the same thing over and over yeah. and over again. Totally different from the old world where everything was like handcrafted, right? Yeah. He took this changing world that was like all about manufacturing and then he made it relevant to us mm -hmm. by, by making art from that. Yeah. And it kind of like gave us a new way to think about how to experience our world artistically. And I really like that. Well, thanks for sharing those insights. Yeah, and man. be sure to check out the Google app and check out some artwork from around the world.